Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name's Kaylee and these are my books. Today's video is all about the graphic novels, manga, and novellas that I want to read. So this is going to be a TBR video specifically for Peace Talks, which is happening tonight because I'm posting this hopefully Friday during the day and so it starts Friday evening at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time and goes until Sunday evening 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. So it's a 48 hour readathon within Realmathon where every book we finish gets an extra 10 defense points which means it's nice to read a lot of short books that way you can rack up those extra 10 points for each book you finish. Hence I will be doing a bunch of graphic novels, novellas, and manga during this 48-hour uh, readathon, and I'm so excited. So I'm going to talk you through a lot of the options that I have because I have so many options. There's no way I'm going to read all of these, but I just have a million things that I have collected, and I thought a good way for me to figure out what I should read during this 48-hour readathon is to let you all decide. So I know this is quite short notice, so I'm hoping it still works, but leave a comment down below with the name of whatever you think I should read based off of my options. And I'm going to every other time, so not every time, but every other time during the weekend, I'm going to randomly choose a comment and that comment will decide what I read. So if you want me to read a couple different things, leave multiple comments, one comment per graphic novel, manga, novella, etc. So hopefully this video works for you to see what I am potentially reading, but also maybe for you to get some ideas what you should be reading during Peace Talks. So I'm going to start with, with everything that I don't own physically because I have quite a few ebooks and audiobooks that I've collected from Libby. I have a little list that I wrote down here of what I have. So I do have the first five volumes of Lock and Key. And this is a graphic novel series that is a fantasy horror hybrid, I've been told. And that is really cool. It's going to get a lot of points if you're on the fantasy realm or the horror realm. So Enya and Sanctum, watch out for Lock and Key. And the really cool thing about Lock and Key is I got all five of these volumes from Kindle Unlimited. So if you have Kindle Unlimited, you can also read these. I also got from my library the first three volumes of Something is Killing the Children. I've heard so many great things about this. this. This is a horror graphic novel series, and I know Lexi has read it and really liked it, I think. I don't know if she's read more than just the first volume, but I know she recommended it. And then I saw Katrina read it recently in one of her recent vlogs, and she liked it too, so I'm excited to read this. The covers are very creepy. I'm excited. And then I also have the first five volumes of Promise Neverland, which I think is a fantasy horror manga series. Again, I've been seeing a couple people read it, not necessarily other people on booktube, which may maybe they are, I just haven't seen them, but I've been seeing specifically people reading them in the comments on sprints, and I'm always intrigued when I see people saying that they're reading Promise Neverland. So I looked it up, and it seems so cool, so I want to read it too. So I have the first um, five volumes as ebooks for my library. Then I also have seven volumes of Spy X Family, which is another manga series. Honestly, I don't even know what genre you would classify this as. Maybe, maybe romance? I don't know. I don't know what I would, I know it's not fantasy, so I don't think I would class, I wouldn't get like extra genre points for this. But I'm trying to think like what, what realm would get extra genre points? Let me know down below, what, what is Spy X Family classified as? I have read the first volume, so I should know the answer to this. It's kind of just like slice of life, but make it extra entertaining with assassins and spies. I don't know. <laughs> But I read the first volume a couple of months ago and I freaking loved the first volume so much I gave it five stars. So I have volumes two through nine or two through eight, I can't remember. But I have quite a few volumes downloaded, again, as ebooks from Libby and I'm excited to read them because the first one was so good. It was so good, so wholesome. Like it made me laugh and it made me wanna cry just in one volume. So I'm excited to potentially keep reading Spy X Family. And then here's a top priority novella, and I'm going to be reading this no matter what this weekend. Um, again, I'm letting you all choose what I read only every other time I pick something, which will be quite often because I'm going to be getting through a lot of these things quite um, fast. But um, one thing that I know I'm going to start with is A pre Prelude to Ashes, which is the novella, prequel novella to A Touch of Light. Here is A Touch of Light. 
I read and loved A Touch of Light so freaking much. It is a host favorite. And um, you can actually get the prequel novella for free from the author's website. I'll leave his website linked in the description box below. That way, if you also are looking for a fantasy novella to read during a Peace Talks, you can also read the novella. You can read it before or after Touch of Light. Up to you, really. I know people that have said they enjoyed reading it after, and I know people who have said they enjoyed reading it before, so it's really your own individual preference. But because I love to Touch of Light, A Prelude to Ashes being a fantasy novella is literally top of the list. That's the first thing I'm going to start reading once Peace Talks starts. That was a tongue twister. It took me a million tries to get that <laughs> correct. Peace Talks starts. Peace Talk starts. Oh my gosh. Doesn't sound like it should be hard, but it was hard. I also have the audiobook for Fugitive Telemetry, which is the last um, murder bot novella. It's only four hours, the audiobook. So I listen to audiobooks on three times speed, so it should only be like an hour and 20 minutes for me. And I love murder bot so much. And this is the last one that I need to read. I've never read it for some reason. Like I thought I had read all of them, and then I was like looking on Goodreads, and I realized I never got to this one. So I will be reading this one at some point, hopefully. And then I also have the first six volumes of Paper Girls, which is a graphic novel sci-fi series. Honestly, I know nothing about Paper Girls, so it's hard for me to say which genre it for sure fits into. I'm guessing sci-fi simply because I have seen it be compared to Stranger Things so many times, which is why I am so interested in Paper Girls, because Stranger Things is like my favorite show ever. I am a Stranger Things stan, and so anything compared to it, I need it automatically. And I know on booktube this is a popular favorite. I know Gabby from Gabby Reads really liked this, and I think Michelle from Michelle's Library really liked um, Paper Girls as well. And so I'm excited to read it. And for some reason, my library, like, they really supported my Peace Talks journey because they had the first six volumes of Paper Girls as unlimited copies. So I could check them out and like everyone could check them out. And it was from multiple of my library cards. So check Libby for Paper Girls because maybe your library also has unlimited copies of all of these volumes of Paper Girls. And then I quickly want to go through books I already featured in my last vlog because these are novellas and graphic novels and manga that I got from the library. So I got Loath to Love You, which is a bind up of all of Allie Hazelwood's novellas. Um, it includes three of them, including Under One Roof, Stuck With You, and Below Zero. And I also have the audiobooks for each of these novellas, and they're all about four hours long, same as Murderbot. So I could listen to these or I could um, read them. I think I might end up listening to them because I just don't have a ton of audiobooks, and I need audiobooks for whenever I can't like be sitting down and reading with my eyes, like when I'm walking Teddy or when I'm doing like cleaning or cooking or whatever. Um, so I'm glad to have gotten all of these on audio and that's probably how I will consume them. But just just nice to break up some of the other genres, a nice little uh, contemporary romance novellas collection. I'm excited for all of these. And then I have the first three volumes of V.E. Schwab's Shades of Magic. I know this is a prequel graphic novel series to V.E. Schwab's trilogy of A Darker Shade of Magic and I really liked that trilogy so I'm excited to experience the world and some familiar characters in this graphic novel series. And of course it's fantasy, so I will get extra genre points. And then another fantasy graphic novel series I picked up is uh, volumes two, three, and four of Rat Queens. I read volume one um, a couple of months ago and I enjoyed it. And so I'm excited to continue on. Rat Queens is kind of like a D&D &D inspired fantasy um, graphic novel series where there's basically this group of women who are just picking up quests and going out fighting things and getting paid and then drinking in a tavern and having a good time. I, I thought it was so fun so I'm excited to see um, the next couple of volumes. And then I have Liminal Zone. This is a manga, horror manga by Junji Ito. I have never read anything by Junji Ito. I think Liminal Zone is a anthology of different short stories by Junji Ito and this is quite a short um, manga overall. So this will be super quick to get through and I'm really really excited to experience Junji Ito. And then speaking of Junji Ito, this spoils a future video, but I did a ton of book shopping recently and I did pick up Uzumaki from Junji Ito. This is upside down. I did pick up Uzumaki from Junji Ito and this is one of his most popular horror manga books. It's quite a bit chunkier, so I don't think it'll be as quick to get through, but it's still, you know, still pictures all throughout, so it's still not going to be as long to get through as this page length implies. 
But I'm excited because, again, this is the one I hear the most about, and I know Lexi really loved this one. Erin, I think, has loved both of these. Erin from Erin Megan. She is who I asked about a couple of these because I know she loves Junji Ito. She's read, like, I think all of Junji Ito stuff, if not all, most of Junji Ito stuff. And she kind of signed off that she like really liked both of these, so I'm excited for both of them because I really trust Erin's opinion. I was also thinking about rereading Saga um, because I own the first six volumes and I, I've read these before and I loved it, but it's just been so long and I would love to continue on in this series, but I just don't remember enough to continue on. So I've been wanting to do a reread anyway, so it would maybe be nice to read the first six volumes of Saga during Peace Talks. I'm almost done, but some more options. I also have A Psalm for the Wild Built. This is a super short sci-fi novella by Becky Chambers. It is only 140 pages. I love Becky Chambers. I have not yet read this series that she has, but I did read, I think, all of the series that's like, oh gosh, it's a really long title, A Long Way to a Small Angry Planet. Is that is that the book? I hope so. But um, I did read that series and I loved every book in it. And so I'm excited to read this one because I've been hearing a ton of positive things about it. And then I also have this Eric LaRocca bind up of a couple different novellas of his. Um, including the main one, Things Have Gotten Worse Since We Last Spoke. I've been wanting to read this for so long. And again, I know it looks like a full-length book, but this is a couple different novellas, so I could just read one novella and it count as um, a Peace Talks book. Like, the first novella is 150 pages. And it's kind of told in these, um, like, email exchanges, so it's not like a lot of the pages aren't as full as you might think they are. Um, but I've heard so many amazing things about Eric LaRocca's books and I've been craving some horror recently so it would be nice to fit in some horror. And then I also have volume two of Lore Olympus that I have not re yet read which is crazy because I read and loved volume one so much and I went out and bought this exclusive Barnes Noble edition thinking I was gonna pick it up right away and then I just never did but um, this is another option for me. And then I'm gonna say a general disclaimer about like what you can say in the comments you can say anything in the comments of what I just showed but also I would appreciate any KU recommendations for romance horror or fantasy that is under 150 pages so if you read something that you loved recently a novella that you loved recently that's either horror romance or fantasy you can also leave that in the comments and if my random generator selects your comments I will read your recommendation because I do have KU I do have access to that. I don't want it to like open up to like everything because I don't want to have to go out and buy a bunch of other novellas or graphic novels or whatever for this weekend. But if it's on KU, that's easy. I could fit that in. Just make sure it's under 150 pages. So with that, those are all of my options. Let me know down in the comments. You can leave separate comments for each book you would like me to read the most because there's no way I'm reading all of this. There's absolutely no way I'm getting to all of these options that I have. So I need your help. What should I prioritize? And again, every other book for Peace Talks will be a book selected by one of your comments. And I'm doing a vlog for this, so I hope that's fun, to adding to the drama of what books get picked and what books don't get picked. Um, but look out for that vlog. It'll probably get posted on Monday. But for now, happy Peace Talks weekend. I'm so excited. I hope you're excited too. If you don't know anything about Peace Talks or Realmathon or what I'm talking about, Cassidy's video announcement video about Realmathon will be linked in the description box below. If you're watching this in April, it is not too late. You can still sign up for Realmathon. Just make sure you sign up for Team Enya because that is the best team out there. <laughs> All right, if you liked this video though, please give me a like and subscribe for more content and I'll see you next time. Bye.